So as you all know, the world has just gone through COVID-19 and a lot of the experts say this is not the last pandemic of this kind we, we're going to experience. And one of the problems when we have a pandemic like this, you know, many countries have been locked down and big problem is reopening up and getting kids back into school is part of that problem. And uh, so how, how can we, we do that? How can we safely get kids back into school? Well, today we're here at a company in uh, Suzhou, China called Walk Lake, and they actually manufacture a, um, a number of devices that help to screen kids as they're going back into kindergarten. And, you know, kids don't like sort of having the temperature taken and having their eyes looked into. And these robots they do, they're very kid friendly and they make it kind of fun for kids to want to get screened as they go back into kindergarten. So what we're going to show you, we're going to show you a little bit about the company and what they do, how they make these robots and, and how these robots work. And, and we're also going to show you them in action in a kindergarten a bit later. So before we go and look at the production, I'll just give you a quick overview of how these machines work. So this is the contactless one. And uh, you, you like, the kids line their hands up with that and, that, and then your mouth. So it seems I'm all good. Seems you're good to go into kindergarten, yeah. mate. So it's basically gonna, it's got a, this is going to test the temperature of your forehead. Yeah. One of these sensors is going to test your eyes to see if they're okay. Yeah. You and then one of them is going to shine a camera into your mouth. Uh huh. Um, so it's got multiple different tests on there, and then some of them actually have something to put your hands in, don't they? Yeah, like like this one here. Um, you, you actually put your hands in here, and then you put your chin on here, and you fall. <laughs> Oh, here we go. You can see on the screen here. Uh, <laughs> I forgot to open my mouth. But, uh, the idea is you That's open funny. your mouth. <laughs> so I guess if you're coming out at either 38 degrees or something like that, it's going to come up with a big thumbs down and yeah. you're going to be escorted from the premises. <laughs> so let's go and have a look at the production line, shall we? So now in production line, and uh, most of the components get made outside at third parts and they come here to be assembled. Um, so we start with the chassis. This obviously is a chassis of one in there you saw similar with. This can do two at a time for sort of slightly taller kids and smaller children. And then this is uh, another one here. As, as you saw out right there, you put your hands in here, all the sensors will go in here. Once. Uh, the screen's been put in actually. Um, we come on to here where we can see here the guy is assembling. All uh, you're about to see a time lapse of this guy installing this machine, yeah. so I'll so roll that the, right now. Here's all the components here, and uh, he's fixing um, all the components into the robot. Something interesting they were saying is they've. Uh, what were their biggest export markets at the moment? Uh, it was Kuwait Mexico. And Mexico. Me Mexico um, and Kuwait. Yeah, and the, the interface currently comes in three languages, which is Chinese, English, and Spanish. So obviously those are the three la largest spoken languages around the world. So um, they've got pretty much most markets covered. And these are all finished here. And then these are ready to be packed. They've all, got a, they've all got a cute little flag on the top to see which country they're going yeah. to. So I, I can see right here about 20 different flags. So we've got Chile, we've got Spain, we've got Russia, we've got Iran, you know, Poland. They're, they're going all over the world. So once all the components have been assembled and fitted in, they come to here for their sort of diagnostics and testing. And it's, it's kind of funny. I feel as though I'm in the middle of a big Christmas decoration with all these 
flashing lights and eyes lighting up and blinking around me and different colours going on and peeping and stuff like that. Beep, beep, beep. And then once they've gone through their testing, they go off over to their packaging and department to be shipped to one of uh, many countries around the world. So that's pretty much, it's quite a simple production line. Uh, we're now gonna head in, they've, they've organized for us to go to a kindergarten to see how these are put into action. So um, we'll cut to there, see you there. So here we are at a kindergarten where we're seeing the Warp Lake product in use. So we've got loads of young kids here lining up to use this um, product to basically see whether they're safe to go inside. So as you can see, they're putting their little red card on top which is showing their name and uh, it's gonna bring up their profile. Bless them. They open their little mouths and uh, it's gonna test their hands, their temperature, it's gonna test their eyes and see whether basically they're safe to go in. And you can see on the screen here, it's gonna bring up a little picture of each kid's eyes, mouth and hands to see if they're, they're safe to go in. And so as you can see, this one's actually capable of doing two kids at one time. So we've got the shorter kids going over here and the taller kids going over here. So as you can see, it takes each kid maybe five to 10 seconds and then um, they know that they're safe to go inside. So it's a basically a really quick way of screening um, all of the kids before they go in. And as it's quite an interactive little robot, it seems that they find it quite fun at the same time, which is nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> bye, bye. How about how <laughs> Didn't understand. <laughs> so there you have it. There's a uh, Walk Lake product being put into use in kindergartens to try and uh, prevent the COVID from circulating again in schools. And I think it's a really good thing. I really want you to leave a comment on if you've actually seen this kind of thing before and what you think about it. Uh, but a big thank you to Walk Lake for helping us uh, get into to here to see how it's being put into use. If you did enjoy the video, please, please do let us know by dropping a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already because there's a bunch of you watching who are not subscribed. So change that right now. You can become a member on this channel by pressing that join button below if you do like to. And we will see you in the next one. Take care for now.